It is the first sign that summer is fast coming to an end, and I'm not sure a lot of people are ready for that. Well, we saw our first 30 of the summer, yeah. so let's talk about the ice being in, the skates being out. We're talking about the annual late August tradition of NHLers converging in North Edmonton to stretch out the legs and work on the hands. This summer, that group includes a fast-driving, hard-skating oiler sophomore. I was getting bugged as I walked in. A few of the boys say I'm, I'm old news now. If that's true, then why were there no less than five news cameras waiting for Taylor Hall after his first skate in Edmonton in five long months? Halsey or me? Who did you... Do you want me? Are you sure? Oh, you're not Taylor? No, no, no. no. Did you see Taylor? Yeah, he's in there, I think. How do you look? He looks good. I'm around 200 pounds now, so... Um, just kind of, you know, as you get more mature and uh, you can start lifting some more weight, you gain, uh, you gain weight. So it's been kind of nice, but I still feel fast. He's into it here now. Meaning that left ankle he injured in a fight last March against Columbus has fully healed. If I have to stand up for myself again, I'll do it, but um, I just hope I don't twist my ankle again. And so it's full steaming ahead for his second season, which won't include any kind of bumpy transition from junior, and so hopefully no sophomore slump. I wasn't um, for sure on the team last year. There was still a lot of uncertainty there, and after my first eight games or whatever, I didn't have a goal that... You know, I heard some whispers that I, you know, I could get sent back, but um, this year I come in, I, I know what my job is, I know my role, and um, it's all hockey. Shoots, rebound, score! Oh, fires again! Meaning life on the home front with roommate Jordan Eberle could be a little quieter. He hasn't kicked you over No, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't got sick of my stuff yet, so uh, I'll hopefully try and be a better roommate this year. All he needs to do now is learn how to get around Edmonton in his shiny new borrowed Porsche. I have to use GPS for everything. Like I, I have to use GPS to get home now. It's pretty sick though. I've never really driven a car where you can go to from zero to 60 in about a second and a half, so it's pretty nice. But you still keep it under? Uh, well, I try and stay, uh, stay within the speed limit, but sometimes you got to let the big dog eat. You can watch the Perry Pern Pro Camp from 9.30 to 11.30 all week at the KC Twin Arenas at 137th Ave and 133rd Street. And Taylor wasn't the only oiler pumped to be back in town. Defenseman Ladislav Smead sounds as excited as I've ever heard him to get this season going. No more health issues and he's got a new two-year contract. Time to put his career into a new gear. I just want to make myself a top four defenseman on every every night, you know. But I know it's not going to be easy. Nobody's going to hand hand it to me. But uh, you know, just uh, you know, have to be physical. You know, uh, be really good defensively. Be be just solid. You know, make a good decisions on the ice. Make a simple first pass. You know, and just. Just work, uh, work extremely hard. And how about this? The Oilers have gone to Alberta's number one hockey family to fill a pro scouting position. Dwayne Sutter comes north after three years as director of player personnel with the Calgary Flames. Sutter played over 700 NHL games and won four Stanley Cups with the Islanders. A Sutter in Edmonton, though. Who would have thought? History was made by our Canadian Little Leaguers at the World Series today. Go to the relievers in the last inning. Gets away. Runners coming. Play at the plate. Tag. Blocked it. Got him. Canada taking on mighty Chinese Taipei. Loser is eliminated, but not if our boys keep making plays like that. Textbook block at the plate, and Canada still led 4-3 going into the final inning. In the top of the sixth. In the air. They're going to do it. It is deep to left. And goodbye. Pitcher Yi Yan Pan with a monster shot over the cameras in center. And Canada holds on for a 5-3 victory. The first time in 17 tries our Little Leaguers managed to beat Taipei. This was a historic and massive upset. Monday night football. Regular season still two and a half weeks away, but we still have preseason to keep us entertained. Bears and Giants taking the stage tonight. And it's Eli Manning finding Victor Cruz. He'll make a nice catch for the first down. That leads to the Giants to a field goal, 3 nothing New York. Still in the first day, Cutler and the Bears from inside the 15. Cutler throws deep, and he hits Devin Hester. Bears tie with a field goal, 3-3. Second quarter, Giants inside the 20. Brandon Jacobs takes the handoff and drags Chris Harris into the end zone. That's pure power, and it leads the Giants to a 41-13 victory. How 
strange was this? After finding the net just six times in their past eight games, FC Edmonton pumped home three goals last night in a much-needed victory over Atlanta. The three markers came within 13 minutes of each other in the second half. I feel really good. Uh, this is my second game of the season, second start of the season. To come on and score two goals, I feel really good. After the next two on the road, FCE is back home September 3rd. A great hard court experience for the U of A's Jordan Baker at the World Universiad in China. There it is. Unfortunately, he won't be coming home with a gold medal, though. Canada had the lead at halftime versus Serbia, but ended up losing 68-55. After a great semi-final effort against Lithuania, Baker had six points and three rebounds in 16 minutes of play. And finally, we salute what those little leaguers will hopefully one day become. Multi-millionaires in pajamas who turn some sweet triple plays. It's time for CTV Super Plays. Off the end of the bat, Wilson is there, flip to Uni B, the throw to first in time, throw to the plate, and Kent had a triple play! On the ground to third base, Lowry touches third, goes to second for two, on to first, a triple play! Sanchez throwing it up for grabs, Burris, Enzo, diving, touchdown! 82nd run of the Canadian Derby in front of thousands at the track. The Alberta bred Gray Gelding from Freedom's Traveler taking home the $180,000 winner's purse. Here he is again. Aguero. Cut back. Silva. That's another one. He's not only scored one, he set up one too. Oh. That was well done. Look at this. What a great catch by a fan out there on the phone. Who needs the glove there? And we looked really, really hard, but super wasn't the best adjective for the Eskimos' big loss against BC. But we did find this solid effort by Wampamo, a say say interception in the end zone, and it saved a touchdown. It's it positive, right? <laughs> We're just trying to find a positive spin on the game. I was going to put you on the spot and say, how do you say his name again? But I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of letters. You put them together and you see what you say when you want to get to it. <laughs> All right, thanks. And stay with us. We're back after the break with some lottery names.